Last week, we brought you the history of the hairdo, dreadlocks. Guess by now you know a whole lot more about dreadlocks. On this week's episode, I'll be filling you in on what people on the street had to say about dreadlocks and of course, I went over to a hair salon to know more about the hairdo and how to take care of it. Well, dreadlocks I think is a very cool way of looking um, if you're an artist. I think it's very, it's very okay. It's, um, it's, it sells you as an artist because as an artist you're supposed to have this very unique thing, not the everyday thing on. But for me, I don't think I'll have to, I'd like to have dreadlocks for my hair because um, I think it's kind of wild. Because when I saw one on dreadlocks, I, the first thing that comes to my mind is, okay, probably person like an entertainer or something. I don't feel the person is just, you know, just an everyday person. Like, a banker can have dreadlocks on, it's not possible. You know, if you're wearing a suit, you can't have your dreadlocks on, it's not possible. So, I feel it's for, basically for entertainers alone. Then for me, fine, I could be an entertainer, but still, I wouldn't have dreadlocks on my hair. Probably the fact that it makes me look a little wild, it's, I think it's a little hard to care for. Nothing really, just that I like it. I, I love it. You know, sometimes people be like, ah, are you a rasta? I'd be like, I'm not a rasta, I just love dreadlocks, you know, and um, I just love it, you know. And it's not as if I'm going to carry it forever, but I just love the way it is now, and I'm, I'm going to pull it off anytime, any day. <laughs> uh, maybe I'll go on look out. Something different, you know. You know. I've had this for a long time, for six years. Six years is not a joke, you know. And uh, Though, um, initially, when I started, I used to wear a wig. And sometimes, you know, I could also fix, you know, but not all styles. I couldn't fix the flats, you know. But now, I, it's not as if I can't wear a wig. But I don't think I can fix because it's heavy, you know, it's much on my hair now, so. I think it's actually okay, but I think, I think it's weird as well. Man, at times, uh, some people make it look untidy. Why some people make it look attractive? But I don't really prefer anyone, though. Dreadlock, I, I think it's cool for the people that wear um, the dreadlock thing, but for me, I don't like it. For me, it's a kind of identity. I just love, you know, looking different. Uh, so I spend our time locking it just to look different and cute. It's not about being in vogue. It's something that fits me and I really just like it. Because it's, I believe it's one of vogue now and it's raining. It's fine. I believe it fits me, that's why I go ahead and do it. I don't like it because, sorry, but it makes people look unreasonable, like, <laughs> they don't look responsible. It's a great fashion, it's, it's good, but um, I think it's not a kind of style that everybody should wear. It, it, it has this particular shape of hair that suits. But mostly people get it wrong, you know, you see people with a long face, carrying dreadlocks, they look dreadful, you know. My hairdresser advised me to go on dread because it makes me feel free, not going to salon every other week. I mean, you carrying a dread, it take you about a month, when you started it take you about two, a month initially to make it lock after the previous lock, then you are free, you know, taking your bath with your hair, then it makes you sweat less. No sweat, no heat, you feel free, you dress up and go out, you don't bother, you know, doesn't bother you much to maintain your hair. It depends how you want it. If you want it, if you want to start when it's small or you want to keep your hair, maybe if your hair is full, you can keep it, then you start dreadlock anytime. There's the one that they fix even, fixing dreadlock, that's artificial dread, fix it, you can fix it long, then you can still use your natural hair. But I like it when it's natural, natural dread. It's not difficult really, you know, it just, the most important thing is for you to make it clean. Wash it all the time. Don't let it smell, you know. If you can't go to the salon to wash it, you wash it yourself. Use soap, shampoo, anything, just wash it and make it clean. And if you can't go to the salon to relock it, you know, then lock it yourself. Just, well, if you're less busy, just sit down on your bed or something. Even if you're doing something, just be locking it. It's not that too hard to take care of dread, it depends. Depends on of the kind of uh, hair you're carrying. There's some people they have too thick hair. When you start, at first, every two two weeks, the way it gets locked, maybe once in a month, once in two months, at least once in a month, you wash the dress, then use the normal treatment to spray it, at least so that it won't scratch.